Hello, and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we're in the Hornward Melee of 8325. The early stages of the melee were chaotic and frenzied, and this has left fields trampled and villages half torn down. Many have been forced to leave the battle either by injury or defeat, many at your hand. Now you stand amongst the remaining warriors to begin the final melee. Charge! Right, let's see how he does. You and Brenfred Ashford sight each other amongst the battle and prepare to engage in combat. Now he does not look nearly as good as us, but he is a giant, which is very good for his ability to... Uh, well, he's got giant's blood. It's very good for his ability to fight, but we've got a lot of other things that are very good, like our uh, sword. Uh, okay, let's see how it does. You and Brenfred slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan them for any sign of weakness, any openings, defense you could possibly exploit. And we spot an opening. It's not much, but it's all you need. And then we break through his guard, knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. And we then uh, accept his yield. Yes. Uh, just checking out to the right one. The fight is over. Brenfred lies defeated. You have won. Victory is mine. Cool. After a fierce duel, you're forced Brenfred Ashwood to uh, concede defeat. He removes himself from the field, nursing his injuries while you seek new opponents. You knew the risk. Roger, uh, we now fighting his brother? Yes, his brother. Uh, Roger, who's slightly better at fighting, but not nearly as tall. We'll defeat him. We circle each other once more. We find a vulnerability. We break his guard. And he surrenders. He yields. Uh, we'll accept that. And the fight is over. Next fight. Uh, oh, no. Next fight. You are forced, uh, you and Gareth Wells sight each other for him. So he's the general of uh, White Knife. He is a skilled fighter as well, so and a knight. So this this might be tougher, but we are really, really good at uh, dueling. We circle each other. We spot a vulnerability. We break through his guard, and he yields. Fantastic! He lies defeated, and we have won. Uh, yes, we'll seek a new opponent. After many hours of intense battle, you are alone or left standing. You have beaten all who stood before you and are declared winner of the melee. Glory on me. Someone called in a favor of Sansa. Um, I wonder what that's for. It's probably tax laws again. They really like like calling in favors for tax laws. Also, why do we have this army raised with 83 men? Oh, it's all the way down there. I keep forgetting about that one. After many hours of intense battle, Lord Jonas' melee is finally over. The final group is provided has provided a fine spectacle for all those present, and many approved of the good fight you provided. What a great fight. It's interesting we don't get, like, a first place in the uh, melee kind of thing. Anyway. I've been corresponding regularly with my half-sister Sansa, and always make sure to see her when I get the chance. It's a harsh world, and family must stick together. Oh, cool. Our opinions of each other go up. That's good. Um, Asher the Kraken's daughter accepted Iron King Siegfried of the Iron Isles peace offer. She lost. That was unsurprising. A mega of White Harbor has founded Lady Sansa for the North faction. Interesting. She owes favors to a bunch of people as well, so that could be interesting if she becomes in charge of the North. Also, it's interesting that we now have it says birth name at the bottom. Does it say that for everyone? No, it just says it for Sansa. Huh. Why does it just say it for Sansa? It says it after it owes favor to it. So do we need to find someone else who owes a favor? Like Parquello does not owe any favors? Yeah. Do I find somebody who actually owes, uh, owes favors? No, it doesn't say birth name. I s maybe there's a chance that she isn't called Sansa or something. Like, maybe there's an event that happens. I don't know. It rankles me that my liege, King Parquello, has the fealty of Lady Leona Mormont, and the Bear Island should rightfully be sworn to me. I'll seek redress. My liege, King Parquello of the Iron Throne, has denied my request to make my rightful vassal mine. There are other ways, yes, but he has told us that it, we should not do them. I had to break up a fight between my son Rob and another child today. If Rob's heart is filled with envy. Um, the other children are just selfish, so he can get envious. Uh, we can talk to him about kindness. Oh, envy is the deadliest of sins. I uh, will talk to him about kindness. Young Rob is impressed everyone with his sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. So we can get, he can become just, or we can say life will, re re will reward him, and he gets temperate. Um, yeah, just seems like a good thing for him to be. Seems like something we would very much be uh, on the same path with. Although he became temperate. Did I click the wrong one? I'm 
I'm sure I clicked the one that said he'd become just. Oh well. It doesn't matter that much, but I'm sure I clicked the right one. Um, weak claims can be pressed. You okay? Dorna Swift died a natural death. She was married to King Kevin, who is not in control of the Westlands. It is Lancelot is in control. Currently. But he was in control at one point. Uh, my leash... My liege, peace be with you. I've discovered a plot where Roger seeks to replace Lord Brandon and become regent. Your humble spy master, Alice Karstark. I'm not too bothered. You know, these are just plots, and they're not actually going to do anything with them. Um, we grant some minor titles if we want, like bodyguard. Not that important. We have an unmarried heir. Rob is now 14 and therefore can marry, and I think we should probably marry him off as soon as possible to somebody who will help him run his realm. That's what we're going to aim for. We're going to aim for somebody... We know he's not the smartest. Um, so we're going to try and find somebody who will help him out with that. So probably stewardship and diplomacy is what we're looking for. We're also going to go for a woman. Search all who is not in prison, who is not married, who is not a ruler. Who is my religion group and my culture group, presumably, is what we're aiming for. Although, actually, we can probably just go for any uh, culture. We don't really mind... Adult, um, yeah, um, no, because you can be 14 and that'll be fine. Great house, probably a thing we're looking for. Right, and then we'll head down to about the 14 year olds and we'll see what we've got. Um, or what we could do is we could sort by diplomacy and then see what ages we have. So, Vleona, Regent of Silver Reed, a Fen. Who are the Fens? The Fens are, uh, like, they used to call... What is actually Silver Reed? Is it like a prov... It's a province in the north. Okay. We have Barbara, who is... Ah, uh, let's have a look. She can... She's in Nayland. Her parents... So that's a small uh, province somewhere. Yeah, it's like a city. In in the crossing. That's definitely a no. Uh, we have Pia. She's not really that good at stewardship. And she's too old. With Idera. I actually think that um, Leona is not too bad a choice. She is a Northman, she's brawny, charitable, kind, gregarious, a little bit gluttonous, but also ambitious. She would be fine, although she's not very good at stewardship. That's the only problem. Um, Wayne Woods? Who are the Wayne Woods? The Wayne Woods, if we go to their head of the dynasty. Um, Morton Chase of Ar So they control the High Lordship of Iron Oaks, which is definitely a thing that. Like, that seems like a reasonable alliance as well. Like, they're a little bit powerful. She's also very smart. That would seem reasonable. What about Della? Della seems like a good choice. She's diligent, proud, ambitious, gregarious, and a little bit cynical. That's fine. Della, would you like to marry Rob? Yes. Cool. Let's do it. See if that happens. To the proud Blade Master John, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that Lord Rob and Della get married. Cool. And my liege, I write you bad news from Winterfell. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the peasants um, have been met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt in our hands here soon. Your humble steward, Lord Morkar of Arendelle. That's not good. Can we hold a wedding? We cannot hold a wedding. Oh, okay. Uh, Lord Rob Stark and Della Wainwood have gotten married. It's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house, but there is no one to pay it. Eh, that's fair enough. Ooh, special character action possible. Hold a oh, host a wedding. This is this is new. This used to be like a uh, event that you did. Now we can host a wedding for them. I imagine it's the same event line, but let's have a look at this. Let's host a wedding. This is new. So the game crashed, and uh, yeah, uh, we have to wait until. Our son comes of age. There he is. Now we can try and marry him off. Let's see if we can find the same person. Last time I did this, I didn't find anyone else. Uh, like, um, he crashed twice. So, Well, he didn't crash the second time. The second time I just forgot to record it. But I've been through this now three times. So, uh, No ruler. Uh, my religion group. Uh, don't care about adult, but we do want great house. We sorted by diplomacy. Right. Yes, he is the person who was there previously is now no longer there. Which is a little bit annoying, but it's probably the reason why the game crashed in the first place. If I had to uh, take a stab in the dark at reasons why that might have happened. Uh, let's marry the Leona person who we were gonna who was our second choice. That seems reasonable. Uh, yes. 
We will marry her. Well, probably marry her. That seems fine. Yes, the marriage went through. She has arrived at our court. She actually has somebody who can pay her dowry. Um, and he has 35 gold, so we will, of course, ask him for it. It is customary. We got a tithe uh, from Winterfell. That's nice. And he sent us the customary mountain gold and silver. And now the ceremony can take place. Exactly. And we will uh, host the wedding feast. See how that goes. Hopefully it all goes all right. My liege, may you live in harmony and content. I've discovered a plot where Lord Allen of Mossborough seeks to replace... Uh, Archon John is Chief General. You're our humble spy master, Alz Karstark. I mean, we could ask him to stop. Alright, he will if we just ask him. That's fine. <coughs> to the glorious Archon John. May you live in harmony and contentment. Your demand is just my scheme of service to Mr. X. I hope you find it in me to find it in you to forgive me. Uh, there we go. Your priest, Priest Lawrence of Winterswood, reports that uh, Prince Lawrence of Winterswood has been humble by in the generosity of the poor in Winterfell. Uh, the peasants are saying your name. A job well done. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've discovered a plot where Leona of Bear Island seeks to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of the North. You know, I think that's enough of a prov uh, provocation to actually just declare for the du jour uh, Bear Island. Yeah. The jury should be underneath me, and now you're plotting to try and take over the North? This does not seem like uh, something we would uh, take lying down. So let's uh, merge up all of our men. Um, oh, I do hate that. But we can hopefully fix this. If we get one army, we can then select all of them. Are all the armies selected? I don't think they are. There we go. That's what I was going for. Move them all in here, probably. Uh, maybe in here. And then we'll just disband this if they're going to be caught. June, they'll be caught. Right, there we go. We'll merge up. Did she have any allies? Um, she did not have any allies. Okay, apart from her spouse, but doesn't really count. Um, my prisoner, Dixon Frey, is campaigning about his dark cell in the dungeons. Uh, we'll, we'll let him be under house arrest, that's fine. A Siege of Wonders. Uh, okay. I guess that's just the name of a province. It's fine. Sounds pretty awesome, though. Um, people are changing taxes. Okay. It's no big secret that Lord Maldrick is after my job as Chief General, but he did surprise me when he outright asked for help. Uh, should I really teach Lord Maldrick the secrets of my trade, only to make it easier for him to steal my position as Chief General in King Perquell's court? I'll help him, but keep an eye on him. That's our default position. Um, we're going to get out of there, I think. That's fine. Yeah. We'll get out in time. Merge up, merge up, merge up. Everyone merge up. Lady Paramount Shireen of Yunkai revoked the High Lordship of Yunkai from uh, Lord Grasdan the Unworthy. Okay, cool. Let's move up here. Theodoric will lead the center, Quellen will lead one, and Garrus will lead the other. Right. And then we'll all merge up in this province now. That's fine. We should all get there roughly, like these two armies will get there roughly at the same time. Kill them all. My young acquaintance has finished his education in bookkeeping and administration and has turned out less well than expected. Oh well, he became an incompetent steward. That's unfortunate for him. Request council support. Uh, High Priest Narble would like us to vote with him. Uh, we're going to decline. Your septum reports from New Bowl that his charity work on your behalf is seeding well. The poor, the poor have been found. Your past standing has improved. Good, we got some piety. Uh, we can we continue merging up? We fulfilled the ambition to become a paragon of virtue. Fantastic. What's our next thing to do? I think honorary title? Um, or win, win the war. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. I mean, we that is kind of our immediate goal is win the war, presumably. Merge up in this province and then we'll go head to Bear Island. Right. Everything seems fine. Robert Iron attempted to imprison somebody and succeeded by the looks of it. Some people have been banished. What was that about Asha? Um, Asha was just released from prison and she is now... Yeah, she's just in a court. Okay. okay. We will cross the strait. Uh, Lord Rob seems to be very interested in the garments some of the courtiers are wearing. Yet, yeah, not in the usual lustful way. Lord Rob is also interested in the fabrics themselves. Not just what's underneath them. Um, 
How would John feel about being fashionable? I mean, actually, we do, we actually have a uh, thing about this. I don't remember if it was in the books, but it was definitely in the first season of the show, which was very, very close to the books, in saying that John, um, was, was it John who liked his hair, and was very uh, particular about the way it should be, right? So, uh, in which case, he kind of understands being fashionable. In which case, that, that's, that's my logic for that decision. In case you were wondering. Yeah, I just remember that. That's, uh, it's either him or Rob. But it was one or the other. Um, my lord, for some time now I've been an employee of Lord Lathan II. I seek a better station. I humbly request to join you in, uh, Winterfell. He joins Archon John the Just. Uh, he just wants to join us? Yeah, sure, you can, you can just join us. That's fine. He doesn't want any titles or anything. Character actions. We can demand important prisoners from Lord uh, Theodric. We will, of course, do that. We have got L Lady Leona Bear Island. We will enforce our demands. We now control Bear Island. She is our vassal directly. Bear Island should be de jure underneath, well, underneath the Kingdom of North. Good. Everything's fine there. Looks like our realm is starting to come back together. We fulfilled the ambition to win the war. Good. Next ambition. We're going to get an honorary title. Let's see how we do with that. Our leash might just give us one at one point, which would be nice, but it's fine either way. Oh, a little bit of an autosave. Make sure to pause after it, just so it didn't crash there. Right. Uh, we could spend our money. That's another thing we could be doing. We could be, like, upgrading Winterfell. There's not really a lot I want to spend it on, though. Like, everything's so minuscule, and we have so many vassals that it's actually just not really worth it. Maybe I'd spend it on tax income if we were playing a little bit longer than we're than uh, I'm planning for the campaign. It's fine. We'll just keep our money in case we need it for mercenaries or something. It's not really a problem to stockpile some money in case you need it. I mean, we are in theory recovering after a large uh, war. I was just spending some more time with my wife Val lately, and though of course we did not marry for love, I can tell it's going between us. Did we not marry for love? Was that not part of the thing? Oh, okay. I should probably read the books. I am working on it, but, uh, you know, they're, they're quite long. In terms of how it goes. Um, my dear friend, I wish you the honor of sending my child Roost to you in Winterfell to make him your ward. I can think of none better to teach him and to nurture him into a good man. Your loyal half-brother, Lord Brandon. You named your child Roost? And he's also slow? Is there something going on with the, uh, Starks where they're all idiots? Is this meant to be, is this the uh, non-canon answer for why this, everything with the Starks goes wrong? It's just, they're all idiots, actually. They, they just didn't know it. Okay. We'll take him as our ward, that's fine. Even though you named him Roos, which seems very off. Gran feels I risk too much with my escapades to try and persuade, and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life. But it's such a thrill. Yes. Also, we haven't done really very much uh, that's dangerous. Oh, I mean, apart from going to these grand melees. You know, whatever. Uh, let's go to it in Widow's Watch. Yeah. A melee could be fun. See how it goes. We did win the last two, so we're on a roll. The Widow's March melee of 8327. The early stages of the melee were chaotic and frenzied and left fields trampled and villages half torn down. Many have been forced to leave the battle, either by injury or defeat. Many at your hand, and now you stand among the remaining warriors to begin the final melee. Charge! You and Torg and Flint sight each other amongst the battle and prepare to engage in combat. He is a skilled warrior, so we're starting off a little bit better than usual, but he is slothful, which will actually make him worse, I think. Um, request council support. Who are you? You're Celtigar of Claw Island. Um... Yeah, I'm not really too bothered. We're not going to vote with you. Uh, you and Torgan slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You can scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening in this defense that you could possibly exploit. What mistake is Ollie you'll get? You'd parry Torgan away with the palm of your sword, allowing you to bring down your Valyrian steel weapon on an opening in his defense. We knock him to the ground. He spalls at your fleet, completely at your mercy. And, uh, yes, we'll accept his yield. He lies defeated. You have won. Cool. After a fierce duel, you force Torg and Flint to concede defeat. Uh, Ryan Forrester, who is the 
son of... Oh, he's the youngest son of the of the foresters, right? Yeah, he's the youngest of the foresters. He's the one who gets kidnapped by the White Hills. So, uh, yes. We sight each other. He is uh, quick and a trained fighter, so this could be interesting. I will defeat him. Uh, you and Ryan slur slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening his defense you could possibly exploit. One mistake is all he'll get. Your experience in combat and prowess of your weapon allows you to spot an opening in Ryan's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. Wait for his guard, knock him to the ground. He's sprawled at your feet. Um, you strike, but Ryan rolls to the side, wounded, but very much still alive. He rises to his feet and readies his weapon once more. Why don't you just give up? We circle each other, scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening his defense you could possibly exploit. Before you have a chance to spot an opening, Ryan launches a furious, frenzied attack. You panic and are immediately set on the back foot. Ryan overwhelms your defense with a mighty blow and sends you spawn to the ground. You look up with them with a towering above you, ready to deliver the final blow. But I'm not finished yet. Ryan strikes me, do roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon ready. Zero percent chance to lose an eye. So we didn't lose an eye. You and Ryan slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening his defense you could possibly exploit. We parry him away again and bring our Valyrian steel weapon down on the opening is defense. Break through his guard, knock him to the ground, lies sprawled at our feet, completely at our mercy. It's all over now. But he rolls to the side, wounded, but very much still alive. Um, he rises to his feet, readies his weapon once again. We circle each other, tense and focused, scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening is defense. We pump, we uh, parry him again for the pommel of our sword, allowing us to bring down our steel weapon. We break through his guard, knock him to the ground. He drops his weapon, throws up his hands. Yield. I yield. Okay, we'll accept. He lies defeated, and we have won. Brentford Ashwood and Roger Ashwood sighted each other and engaged in combat. After a fierce duel, Brentford prevailed, forcing Roger to yield. Cool. And we forced Ryan Fo Forrester to yield. We fight the, Ash uh, the Ashwood that we fought last time, the first person we fought in the previous melee. We'll defeat him. We circle each other, tense and focused. He's, uh, as you and Brentford engage, you slip up, leaving an opening in defense. Brentford strikes to try to take advantage. He overwhelms your defense. With mighty blows, sends you spawn to the ground. You look up from towering above you, ready to deliver the final blow. But I'm not done yet. Brentford strikes. You roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon at, your, at the ready. And we did not become wounded. We slowly circle. Tense and focused, scan for any sign of weakness, any opening his defense you could possibly exploit. You see a weak spot, a vulnerability in Bernard's defense, Brentford's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. You break through his guard, knock him to the ground, he lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. He drops his weapon, holds up his hands. Yield, I yield. Accept. And he lies defeated. Go, oh, he concedes defeat. He removes himself from the field, nursing his injuries, whilst you seek new opponents. After many hours of intense battle, you're left. You alone are left standing. You've been all who stood before you declared winner of the melee. Well, that seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.